One of the most nerve wracking parts of IVF is waiting for the first ultrasound to look for a pregnancy. When does the first ultrasound after IVF occur? Join me today on Infertility TV as I explain. First, a little basic reproductive biology. After the IVF embryo transfer, the embryo will float around in the uterine cavity for a few days until, hopefully, implantation occurs. The embryo is continuing to divide before and after implantation. The cells are separating themselves out into those that become the placenta and other cells. Eventually, a small fluid-filled sac is formed known as the gestational sac. It is only when this sac is formed that a pregnancy can be seen on ultrasound. The cells of the embryo are producing a hormone called HCG. Once the embryo implants, the HCG is absorbed by the woman and can be measured in her blood and eventually in her urine. HCG measurement is what is commonly referred to as a pregnancy test. At IVF1, we will follow a woman's HCG level to predict when the HCG will reach a level of about 2000. With our highly sensitive ultrasound machines, we can reliably see a gestational sac in a normal pregnancy when the HCG is 2000 or more. In fact, if the HCG is 2000 and we don't see a gestational sac in the uterus, we start to worry that the pregnancy may not be normal, such as a miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy. Not every woman will see her HCG level rise at the same rate, so the timing of that first ultrasound can be different. In fact, even in the same woman over the course of different pregnancies, the timing of the first ultrasound can vary. Another factor to keep in mind, multiple pregnancy. If your doctor transferred multiple embryos and more than one embryo has implanted in your uterus, then your body will have more HCG sooner. So you may not be able to see a gestational sac in an HCG level of 2000. At IVF1, where we only do single embryo transfers, the earliest we see HCG levels hit the 2000 mark is about 15 days after the embryo transfer. Almost everybody with a normal pregnancy has reached that mark by 20 days after transfer. So our infertility TV bottom line for women with a normal single pregnancy, the first ultrasound after IVF can occur as early as 15 to 20 days after the embryo transfer. Of course, you can't have a pregnancy ultrasound unless you get pregnant first. Watch these videos for tips on how to increase your IVF success rate. But before you go, be sure you like this video. If you have questions or an idea for a future episode, leave it in the comments. And you should definitely subscribe to Infertility TV now for new episodes weekly. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.